the ocean water, its beaches. These are South Florida's most cherished resources. The sea life and coral, they are the underwater jewels attracting many people to our area. But slowly, these treasures are being robbed, killed off by a mysterious disease. This team of scientists searches for clues. We find them in San Salvador, Bahamas, known as the world's underwater reserve. At first glance, it is a healthy, vivacious place, but look closer. You'll find a coral reef fighting an underwater epidemic. With the rate it's going now, you know, it, it could rapidly disintegrate. The enemy is bleaching, and it appears to divers like this, a white cancerous pocket on a piece of coral that spreads quickly and kills fast. When I first came down here in the 1980s, I'd heard about coral reef bleaching. The first three or four years, I was looking all over the place for it, hoping to see it again, just being curious about it. Uh, when we were down here last year, there was bleaching all over the place. Johns Hopkins University researcher Gary Ostrander has led this team of select marine biologists for three years. We've got a 45-minute hard bottom time. Everybody else up on the boat in 45 minutes. Now it's a race against time. Every six months, this group meets here at the same dive site. This time, our news team goes along. We're seeing the effects here, too, and it, it's sad because this is really... Uh, in, in a certain extent, this is, this is Eden, untouched, unspoiled. Ostrander's group takes us on a guided tour of this once pristine environment. We easily find bleaching spots, only the beginning of a devastating end. As soon you find that reef actually dead and decaying, uh, the, the, the coral dies, uh, the source of food for many fish goes away, the fish leave or die. The water I'm standing in now is no more than nine miles from that last dive site where the coral was plentiful, the fish diverse. This body of water known as Rife Bay is also known to local divers as a coral graveyard. It's the look of a dying reef, the coral smothered by algae. Sea life in this bay is virtually non-existent and the water that once looked like this has changed forever. These scientists know the cause is down here somewhere. They lay chains on the ocean floor. Every specimen that falls between each link is recorded and studied. Can you narrow it down to just one thing that is prevalent? It could be a depletion of oxygen. It could be a, a, a change in the nutrient level. It could be a change in salinity. We don't know. Part of the problem could be pollution, like this rusted can we found laying on the ocean floor, or this old buoy we tried to untangle from a dead piece of coral. If this is, is uh, caused or, or exacerbated by man, then it's going to be a problem that, uh, that only man can help solve. But the answer to saving our coral reefs could still be years away, time the world's fish and coral populations can't afford. Here at home, where reefs draw thousands to our shores, it's a problem South Florida can't afford to overlook either. In San Salvador, Bahamas, Shannon Cake, News Channel 5. Three, two, one.